welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a blue wing liner um, because I was actually inspired by Katie. Her channel is Luster Lux. I don't know if she did a, a video, but I saw her on Snapchat. So, although I didn't use a Tarte Clay liner, I actually used a NYX one. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is very appropriate for spring. I added a bit of color to it just so that it's not plain. Please don't forget to thumbs this video up. Also, please subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys to my next video. Bye guys! I'm going to start by using my semi-sweet chocolate bar palette, peanut butter, which is this orangey color right here. And I'm going to apply that on my crease. I'm actually using my Sigma blending brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my eyes. Since this is a very simple look, I just want a little bit of color other than the blue liner. Okay, that's very simple. Just blend, blend, blend. Before I move on to the eyeliner, I'm going to grab Butter Pecan, which is this color right here. It's such a beautiful highlight. And I'm going to use that both for my brow bone and for my inner corner. But I'm going to highlight my inner corner afterwards. The reason why I'm not filming my foundation, how I conceal my eye, is because there's nothing new from what I always do. I'm using the same product, so you can go and see that video on the link up there. Now I'm just going to blend that out and that's it. Now I'm gonna go for the fun part and I'm going to be using the NYX Vivid Brights and this I believe is in the shade Vivid Sapphire. It's such a pretty blue and I'm not gonna talk for this part because it's eyeliner. We all know how hard it is. Now I'm going back with peanut butter and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash and just buff it out to add a little bit more color as well there. And I'm using a Sigma E30 brush for that. For my inner corner, I'm using Butter Pecan and I'm using my E36 brush by Morphe. For my lower lash, I'm going to coat my lashes with the Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara. I'm going to contour using the NYX Highlight Contour Pro Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, the second one. I don't know the name of it because I normally use this shade. And I'm going to contour using my regular sculpting brush by Real Techniques. For my blush, I'm going to use my Morphe Brushes 9B palette, which is the blush, blushed palette. And I'm going to be using this nice, beautiful, corally color right here because it's spring. And I'm actually using for that the Sigma F10 brush. We don't want a lot. Next, I'm going to highlight, and I want to try to switch it off. Just because I know I always use the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. But only because that's my favorite. I just love it. It gives me life. So I'm going to switch it up by the only other highlighter that I have. <laughs> and that would be my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Superb. So as always, I'm going to grab my Morphe M310 brush. For my nose, that's all the drill, and my cupid's bow. So for my lips, I am going to use one of my favorites. It's the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Indie Flick. It's such a beautiful, beautiful orangey red color, perfect for spring. So now just to set everything, all my makeup, I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And then to just finish up, 
I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. 